is Shay Mirote, and he will be evaluated by Kelly Gargas. Shay spends a fair part of his day talking about innovation. So with his fourth Postmasters project, how to say it, he seeks to simplify and explain a common question, the difference between innovation and R&D. And this is a five to seven minute speech. Please welcome Shay Mirote. <laughs> Innovation is something that I'm sure we all hear about a lot on an almost daily basis, from businesses to governments, from magazines and on the television. I think we see it everywhere. Let me just ask, how many people have heard the word innovation in the last month? Everybody. But what does innovation really mean? And how does it differ from traditional research and development? These are questions I get asked and address a lot in my job here at American Greetings, and today I will talk to you a little bit about what those differences between innovation and research and development are, and what innovation really means. So, what is innovation? On the surface, it just means something new, but the way I choose to define it and how it relates to what I explain to people is that innovation is the creation of top line value, that is to say, new revenue, or increased revenue through new products and services. And how does this differ from research and development? Well, that could be an all day speech, but for <laughs> the purposes of the next five minutes, the difference between innovation and research development can be considered in where ideas come from, the goals of uh, what those ideas lead to, and the process of how to get from those ideas to the goals. So where do ideas come from? In traditional research and development, R&D, ideas usually come from the top of an organization and flow downwards. So the leaders, the executives and managers will come up with an idea and those ideas will filter through the organization and the creation of products and services. In a truly innovative process, ideas actually flow from the top of an or bottom of an organization to the top, where any employee, regardless of their position or rank, and even in all, many cases, customers and consumers can contribute the ideas that lead to the innovation. So, when people say, ask what's the difference between innovation and R&D, remember, in R&D, it's a top to bottom flow of information, and in innovation, it's a bottom to the top. So, ideas. Now let's talk about the goals. In R&D, the goals are traditionally well known before you even start the process of creating a new product or service. The Leadership sets an expectation or a destination, and in the R&D process, you get there. In innovation, the goal can be a little bit more fluid. You might not know 100% where they're going to end up at throughout the innovation process. And it could change of course. It might not even be defined at the beginning. So, difference between R&D and innovation in terms of the stated goals, R&D, they're very solid. In innovation, it's a little bit more fluid. And finally, the process of getting from the idea to the goal. In research and development, the process is again very strict. There is stage gates, there are milestones, and there is a stated process of getting from point A to point B. In innovation, the process is again very, a lot more fluid. There isn't those, there aren't normally stated teams. People can come 
in and out of the process, and the process can even change midstream if things are working or aren't working. So process, again, solid versus fluid for research versus innovation. An example I like to use when trying to explain the innovation process is Gore-Tex, the company that makes a breathable fabric. I've been one of the most innovative companies for the last 25 years because they follow a true innovation process. In the company, there are no titles, so ideas can flow from anywhere. For example, Gore was able to tackle the guitar string market in a very exciting way because one of the employees was just really interested in musical instruments. And so if they took that interest and they're like, I'm going to do something using our technology for music and guitars. So the idea came from the bottom. The goal was very nebulous. I just wanted to make something. And the process was very fluid. He gathered up a team of like-minded people. They played with some of Gore's technologies. Then in the end, they created some of the most resilient and strong guitar strings that last three to five times longer than traditional guitar strings. That was not an R&D process. That was an innovation process. If anyone asked you what the difference between innovation and R&D is, just remember from here on up, it's ideas, goals, and process. Thank you very much.